how to set up a micro MWC board. The first thing I like to do is just connect it to the GUI to check if it's working at all. It usually does, just in case. Here that's multi -Wii Conf and it shows version 222. Dig out your sketch and open that in your development environment of choice. I prefer it simple, I just take Arduino. And before you hit upload, make sure you have him ready. The hilarious, the ridiculous Mr. Pogo Stick. Yeah, for, for some reason, on this board, one of the pins is not connected over the adapter, but you need to connect it manually with this stick here, right in the middle of the board. Here's a close up where you need to poke exactly. Right, the small silver hole right next to the large hole with the white circle around it. That's where you gotta poke. It's just about the right hole and the right timing. Then he gets all excited and starts flashing for a couple of seconds and then you can pull up the GUI to see what version you have now. I'm using multi Wii version 2.3 and to recognize my own code, I have put the version number 233 into the code. Once the right software is installed, I like to bind my transmitter first. So switch off the transmitter, power cycle the board by just disconnecting and connecting the USB, and then wait for the red LED on the left to start flashing quickly and put the transmitter into bind mode. Once the left LED is solid, you can reconnect the GUI and check that your input channels are all working. Next, you want to configure your flight mode options. If you're new to this, I recommend to just check the three boxes for angle at any one aux channel, that means you will always fly in angle mode. You have to decide on a arming method. Many people like stick arming, I prefer switch arming, so I set a box for that. Whatever arming method you choose, check that it's working. The word arm needs to turn green. And then you should also see the throttle channels giving some output. Once that's all correct, Put the board level, hit the calibration button for the accelerometer. And finally, you have to configure some PID and RC settings. The most important settings being the P values of roll and pitch. They're pretty good at the defaults of 3.3. I leave the I usually at 0.03 and set the D a little bit higher at 33. The roll pitch rate here determines the transition ramp between the rate and the level loops in horizon mode. One is a good value, but it's only needed if you fly horizon mode. The yaw rate determines how much yaw authority you get. And I think 0.85 is a pretty good compromise. That pitch roll rate value down here determines basically the dual rates. I want to have that at full throw, 1.00, 100%, and no expo, meaning a linear control curve. Calibrate again, just to be safe. Hit the right button, and you're done. This board is now ready to fly. I hope that helped. If not, please ask. If yes, have fun, and see ya later.